Joel here, Torque King 4x4. We've got three wheel bearings in front of us, and we show you three different ways to pack a wheel bearing for proper lubrication when you are working on your wheel bearings. Uh, the first way we're going to show you is with this tool. This tool is a wheel bearing packer we sell. It's a part number QT5500. Uh, works great for this. Super easy, super simple to use. Put your wheel bearing in there, throw the inserts in, press her down. Work the grease in. And then, as soon as the grease comes up like this, the wheel bearing is packed. What you want when you're packing a wheel bearing is uh, to have grease throughout it. So, not just on the surface, not just on the edge, all the way through. In, in in every roller and every surface have grease on it. Get the thing out of here. Yeah. So what you're looking for here is if you push on these surfaces, it would appear that there's grease all throughout. If you push in the rollers, the grease will come out. So that is probably the easiest method for the show. Another method is uh, using grease gun, such as this one, with a uh, needle adapter. Lock that one onto there. And uh, take your wheel bearing and you work it around. So you give it a little bit of grease in between every roller. Make sure that the grease gets all the way in, as full as you can get in. Top and the bottom. So bearings very well packed now. Got grease completely through it. Same thing we're looking for in the other one. Squeeze those. Work some grease out. This thing is well packed. And then our third way we're gonna pack a wheel bearing is uh, the hardest way, the old fashioned way. I always recommend using gloves when you're working with this type of stuff. It's super nasty, hard to get off your hands. You take a good amount of it in your hand like that and you push it through. It's gonna be a hard process, especially to get into every crevice as you need to. I don't think you'll ever quite get it perfect. Um, not nearly as good as you would doing either of the other methods, uh, but it can work and has worked for some people, but not the way I would recommend to do it. Um, those are our three ways of packing wheel bearings shown in this video. Um, remember, if you need wheel bearing packing, you can find them on our website or wheel bearings for lots of different applications. Part number on this one is QT5500. Thank you guys for tuning into this one. Um, we'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to check out our, our social medias, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And uh, stay tuned in the YouTube. We've got more service videos coming up almost every Friday. Right now, we have another Roxer video going up tomorrow. And uh, from there on, we're going to be posting a few Dana 44 videos. And uh, we have an MD5600 build coming up here real soon. So... Uh, Stay tuned and thank you for watching.